I mean, that's not exactly how it works, but close enough. Another three chapter week! Last week was significant outside preview chapters as well, but we'll have another video diving into boring fanex. Subscribe! Also, thank you to my patrons! Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dallin, Ars, Butt, Moochie, Chris, Mithi, Carone, Gallantageous, the son of James, and Lexar and Talap. Join them. Chapter 16, Shallan's basking in the afterglow. She's much more accepting of coital cheerleaders than Kaladin. Pattern now says, yes mating. She's determined to fix Testament. If it happens with Maya, which I'm hopeful for, it can happen with Testament. Gaz and Red are disguised as potted plants, keeping watch for the ghost bloods. Apparently the Windrunners are developing Morse code with span read flashes, which is Basically fiber optics. Hi, Stargyle and Darcyra, both Tuckerizations of people I like. Wit had 12 pictures of Ghostblood members, including two other Malwish people, probably hunters like Ayatil, who recently arrived on World. Shallan expects them to move against her because she knows something they don't. Oh, honey. She tries to put her armor on red, and it kind of works. I can't there really must be a difference in experience between her and Kaladin's armor spren. Or maybe it's because the wind hasn't really changed in 2000 years, but new things are being created constantly. Maybe creation spren just have bad memories. Gaz is getting ready to admit he was the worst, eventually. And they're going to try and steal the ghost blood secrets. Smash cut to Dalinar chatting with Cultivation. She can't tell him how to bondsmith. And he recognizes the ambiguity of the charge to unite them. Cultivation seen Odium scared twice. Once, when Dalinar first opened Honor's Perpendicularity and named himself Unity, WE KILLED YOU! And one unspecified instance before. Why bring it up if you're not gonna talk about it, culty? Dalinar apparently needs to live the history of Roshar, and then very likely ascend? Where is Honor, she asks. In the hearts of men? Does this mean Honor wasn't splintered? We've seen other shards die without their power splintering, but I think all of us assumed that because Odium had a hand in it, that he would have done the same as what happened on Cell and near Threnody. And Chris says Honor was splintered by Odium in her essay on Roshar in Arcanum Unbounded. Now I'm confused. Seek the spiritual realm, where gods dwell. You have the ability to get there, perhaps even the ability to return. There you will receive the final truths of the Heralds, the Radiance, and Honor himself. Sounds like Dalinar's going on Shallan's quest as well? That might go poorly with how Adolin's feeling. Now, question about Dalinar's bodyguard for the morning. Colot. He was a Windrunner squire in Oathbringer, and Cal says those have all hit the second ideal by Rhythm of War. So why does he have to take the lift? Can't he just follow Dalinar up? The Stormfather seems to be against Dalinar jumping into a different realm. I've shown you what you need. Too much more is dangerous. Ooh, is this Gavilar's Stormfather starting to peek out? It also says his presence caused the air to warp or shimmer. Details Brandon may have added after seeing people's confusion in response to the prologue. Wit's got a Temu Kek? Must be talking to Frosty indeed. For context, because this is a really deep and obscure piece of lore, we first see Temu Keks in Dragonsteel Prime, but this is the first time we've seen them on screen canonically. They're basically invested bones from a fane creature on Yolan, containing tiny traces of dragon steel, and can be used similar to Sion's to communicate over long distances, most frequently with dragons, cell phone, and bone phone. BONE! Okay, this is cool. We get Shallan's illustration of not only her shard plate, complete with sketchbook holster, but also both pattern and testament as shard blades. I checked and there's no description of the sword Shallan used to kill Tin, so no official confirmation on there yet. Chapter 17. Ah, so Colot washed out of the Windrunners for some reason. Not very satisfying. So he gets dragged onto the lift with Adolin and Yonagon. I guess I should get used to calling him that instead of Gox. He is the Emperor, after all. He echoes the same thoughts of impotence and desire to do more that we heard when he was definitely asleep. I get the feeling, especially given his age and prominence, that he's going to be a much more significant character in the second arc. Maybe he'll get some sword training before then. Shallan's keeping watch for the ghost bloods with Gaz. He discourses on the vices of gambling. We see disgust spread for the first time, and Gaz manages to out-witticism Shallan. He's becoming more 
more and more of an interesting character. Chapter 18. Adolin and Yonagon are last to the meeting. Navani waves all of the collected emotion spren away, which is impressive, and Rol Na joins as well. Ooh, yeah, we're finally seeing Adolin's anger toward Dalinar. It's a relief in a way, but it also makes me worried with the contest coming up, and we still don't know for sure who Odium is choosing. Wit interrupts everything with a proclamation of his own idiocy. Frost didn't want to help, non-intervention and all that, but his sister did? If Hoyt has a Tamu Kek, why do we have letters between them in Way of Kings and Words of Radiance? Regardless, he's been chatting on the bone phone with another dragon, who found the loophole. Take the capital, take the country. Something Ray's not only promised not to do, but that Wit doesn't think he would even be capable of conceiving. That, along with a change in the rhythms of Roshar, confirm that Odium has a new holder. Who's gonna figure it out first? Shallan's got a lead on a ghost blood agent. They've apparently been recruiting actors. Darcyra tailed them and found the base in Narak. Now it's sneaky time. I am very, very sneaky, sir. Some significant revelations in the chapters this week, as well as IRL. Does that make me cool? Dang it. But those will be coming in the next video. Subscribe, hop on my Discord, join my Patreon so you don't miss and not find out.